And here we go for the eye lecture. So this is an important lecture since the eyes are the most detailed, the most prominent, the most, um, the biggest thing that you will do will be with the eyes. So you see a selection of colors here and you're probably thinking that seems really excessive. Oddly, it's not. That's, that's about, I'm not at this. Yeah, that's about the, the level of colors that I'm going to use for the eye and surrounding the eye. I kid you not. Um, probably actually get a couple more colors at the end. So, the question is, why would you use that many colors on the eye? Because like in the other lecture, we have just the basic rule of everyone is going to look at the eye first. And the more detail you have, the more variation of colors that you have, um, the more contrast, the more lights and darks, basically everything will focus around the eyes. So yes, I'm totally serious. I will use all of these and I might use this one too. Yep, meh, I might use that one. Okay, so um, let's start. So the first thing you wanna do, so rule number one of doing the eyes, <laughs> is to just straight up um, outline it, just outline it. So you usually get like a regular pencil. So I've already done sort of that with a regular pencil. Now you wanna come back in with your pastel pencil and you want to outline it. And you want to go light. Like I said in the other lecture, um, you know, just go light. Don't commit quite yet because good, good chance that you'll make a mistake here. Uh, especially on this, because it's like a perfectly round eye on the outskirts and uh, on the sides once you get in it's not so much so it's going to be a little bit challenging but that's good so again you want to get a rough draft at this point now I know we did the initial trace so we have sort of the direction that we want to go with it However, you need to reevaluate that at design time here. So you just want to get this just how you think it should be, and then double check your reference, and then you want to come back and get the pupil and just outline that. Don't fill that in just yet. You want to outline this. So you want to kind of watch how far away from the edge does it stop and all that stuff all right so now you have a rough outline and the reason you're doing this is because it's easy to erase and that's going to be pretty critical if you make a mistake i think the biggest issue that i see with most people in making eyes is they will immediately go commit 100% and then they'll come back later and it doesn't look right and by that time you have already made the mistake so deep into the paper that you're not going to get it out so don't commit quite yet it's like dating you have a first date with these eyes you don't know these eyes don't commit yet just sort of relax take it easy and learn about the eyes so here we go I think I got the rough shape all right. And the second is the distance from. The distance from there. All right, so now let's look at the thumbnail and see if we're just about right. And one thing I immediately notice is we have sort of a have sort of an area that goes along here down to there that I missed all right and then as we come up okay that looks good and the same here we have this area that sort of comes down a little bit here and so we'll make sure and replicate that okay and then I want to look at I think that this side here is a little too wide so again, we went light. We didn't commit quite yet. We went light and it paid off because we had to erase a little bit. 
So now we want to come back and reduce the size of that part of the eye right there. Okay, so now I think that this is a little too high, so I'm gonna reduce the, that a little bit. All right, obviously that's not round. We'll correct that in a minute. Um, all right, so I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, and it seems like over here, this is a little too high. that we're going to bring that in a little bit as well all right so this right here is not rounded enough go like that round that out a little bit okay so I like that and I like that uh, what's wrong with this this is not wide enough Okay, so that's step one. I believe we're done with step one, which is make your outline. So you make your outline of the pupil, you'll make an outline of the outer edge of the eye. So now let's bring this in a little bit. Again, I think it's a little too wide. Bring it in a little bit. Okay, so, and bring this in a little bit as well. Okay, so now you have a rough outline. I'm happy with it. Step two, once you have an outline of those two eyes then take a break go away for 30 seconds go away for a minute refill your coffee your water whatever what you want to do is you want to come back and get a fresh look so stop looking at it for a few seconds come back step two get a fresh look you should immediately be happy in other words it's not a scientific measurement of the exact point of the eye it should look right your your gut instinct should say yes that look that looks good that looks all right and looking away and when I look back that looks right that looks good it may not be exact I mean if I get out a ruler and I get the exact measurements between the two sides it may not be exact but it feels right and it looks right it looks like the you know angel the cat is is looking at me so um, I think it's it's on enough that I'm happy with it so let's move on so the second stage is we're going to fill in the pupil okay so the two things you want to realize on this is number one the pupil cannot be dark enough uh, you can't get that too dark so and we have an odd situation with the picture to where the picture has a flash, a red eye on the flash, but it's sort of a blue eye. So you have a red eye issue here. And what I don't want to do is replicate that in the picture because it doesn't look good. Red eye on, a, on an animal or any type of distortion to the eye, you don't want to replicate that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss that out and start fresh. And instead of doing that, we're going to see what color works without doing the red eye. So I'm going to come in here with the pastel pencils. And again, like the initial class, we have Carbothello pencils. So I know it's going to be dark right there. That can't be dark enough. That can't be too dark. So we have dark here. And then I do want to get it light in the middle. So your next step here is to leave a gap. So step one, do your trace. Step two, take a break. Step three, you want to fill this in, but you want to leave a highlight gap. So let's figure out where the highlight is. We have highlight right here, and then we have highlights over here on the outskirts of the eye. So whatever you do, don't color in around that highlight. You want to leave a nice space for the highlight. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to erase all your darkness just to get the highlight in when you just could have left a gap. So the next step here is to leave a gap. All right, so it looks all right. 
So now we have a highlight right here, like right in this area and then right there. So I want to make sure and not fill that in. And I want to kind of, as I come up to the highlight, I want to kind of ease up on the darkness and sort of fade it into gray as we come in there. So looking at that on the thumbnail, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I think it's a little too thick on, on the edges, so we can erase that. So like right here, I think it looks a little too anime. So we're going to do a little erasing just to get that original shape back in. And that's the good thing about that pastel mat. If you need to erase, it's pretty handy. All right, so as I come near the highlight, I wanna lighten up on the pencil, okay? And since this is a pastel mat paper, we can sort of rub this area in a little bit. And we can ease up on the inner darkness. So the dark on the edges of this eye is really dark, but as you come in, it's a little lighter. And I know we have the red eye from the flash, and I, I don't want to replicate that, but I do want to replicate the overall design of the eye from within that light. I know that doesn't make any sense, but in other words, the, the outer edge right here is dark, on the picture and then as you come in it's lighter so I want to keep that I want to keep that get that outer edge dark and then as you come in it's a little lighter so there we go so we have a nice outer edge that's dark and then as we come in it's a little lighter and that's sort of what I want here that's nice I like that all right so now we have that in one eye and I want you to focus on one eye don't do both eyes and then you realize you made a mistake and you have to erase twice it's best to do just one eye for now just one and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna move some of this eraser garbage out of there all right and now we're gonna come back into the eye and your next step now that you have the pupil defined you have an outline everything looks pretty good your next step here is going to be to start within the white area of the eye. Most animals don't have pure white there. They have vibrant colors. They have veins. So your next step is to color that in, all right? Now leave room for veins. Veins are gonna be your step after this one. So right now, let's color that in. And normally, that's gonna be a lot of colors. I'm telling you right now, if you only see one color, you need to look again and again, because in this eye, I, I literally see all these greens and blues, and then some of these grays, right? And then some of the brown. I see all of that in the eye. If you can't see that, download this picture, zoom into the eye, and take a look. You can see all these different colors. And the more colors you can use in the eye, the better, the better. So obviously, obviously don't make like bright neon red, bright green, or you know, all this other stuff. You want to you want to take a look a few times at the eye and, and tell how many colors can you see. I can see brown, like a light tan brown. I can see a dark brown. I can see a obviously the green. I can see different shades of green and I can see some blue. So we're gonna put all of that in. So let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna get our pan pastel applicator like I said before this applicator is not just for pan pastel you can use it to blend the eye for pastel pencils you can also use it to blend regular stick pastels any brand cheap stick pastels you can blend the the soft pastels you can blend anything with this it's great again you can also use a makeup applicator 
if you get a bunch of those sponge makeup applicators from um, I know some of the drugstores will have those on clearance sometimes so if you're ever in a drugstore, go to the makeup applicator and see if you can find some little sponges and see if they have that on clearance. And sometimes they'll have like a big bag of 20 of them for, you know, a couple of dollars or whatever. Depends on your area. So, yes, I'm a dude and I shop for makeup applicators for this purpose. So let's go to the greens. We have a nice green that's sort of in here. And look how light I'm pressing. And instead of going the direction of the hair, you go in the direction of the veins. In other words, you're going outward from the pupil. You're outward from the pupil. So you make sure and do that. Outward from the pupil. And make it sort of in vein style. In other words, don't go line, line, line. Make it nice and light and squiggly. Nice and squiggly. There you go. Get you a washed or fresh applicator. This one still has a little purple on it, which is fine for me. So let's see how that purple is going to blend in. You can turn it on its side too. You see the side's clean. So we'll turn it on its side and we'll move the direction of the vein. Get a nice nice sort of outline here of that green and that's color one of like seven so hang on nice selection of green and if you grab a little of that pupil and pull it out that's okay too because that's the next thing we're going to do after this after the veins is we're going to get the pupil and soften it See, look at the edge as I'm softening this. I'm getting ahead of myself, but you see as I soften the edge here, it gets more real and more real. Look at that. It's already looking really good, right? All right, so it's been 18 minutes. I have a 20 minute limit. Let's take a break and then we'll be back momentarily to start again.